So, so Russell always says the right thing, like to his that. everlasting credit, in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, Diana's calling a timeout. Peyton Manning was calling a timeout. <laughs> D. Wood, down deep inside, is Russell furious? Russell's too nice. He is. What should he say? He's very nice. I can't even. This is the Disney Channel. I can't even say it right now. <laughs> like, like you trade, like you're the Denver Broncos. You traded, mm -hmm. traded for me. Gave up assets. Paid me a quarter of a billion dollars. And you're going you're gonna to tell me, oh, we're going to let a kicker kick a 64-yard field goal instead of giving, putting the ball in my hands at the quarterback position? That's disrespectful. Mm. Nico, that's disrespectful. That to have a quarter, to have a kicker kicking a 64, that's the best you can do? Yeah. Denver Broncos, to have your kicker kick a 64-yard field goal in that situation? Come on, man. Like I said, the Russell's too nice. The situation, that situation, you can go through every single thing in practice and that situation comes up and you, you, you mess it up that bad? Everyone's sitting at home. What are you doing? What's, whoa, 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 whoa. 40 seconds? Tick, tick. If Russell, if Russell should have said, uh-uh, time out. We're going to talk this over. Yeah. Time out. We're going to talk this over. I mean, you look at Peyton Manning. The, the first thing he says, take a time out. All right, you got time. Take a time out. No, he, they don't do that. So the head coach, I think he looks foolish in this situation. He oh, looks yeah. like he doesn't know the situation. And He's ill-prepared. What do we see from coaches that are the gurus, that are the offensive gurus? When they're in those moments, the heat of the moment, when the game is on the line, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Remember two years ago in the NFC Championship game when Aaron Rodgers, they kicked the field yes. goal and they never got the ball back? Should have went for it. You know, who was on the coaching staff of that Green yeah. Bay Packers team? Nathaniel Hackett. So he, yeah. of all people, should absolutely remember so that. Bad. Diana, as you talk to people around the league this week about the way that game ended, what did you hear? Yeah, before I begin, I have no relation to Nathaniel Hackett. Uh, <laughs> because I, I'm going to get scorched here, Damian. I get the fists up. Be, be ready here. Uh, all right. So after a big decision like that, I love getting just feedback from players and coaches around the league and just getting a feel like you watch the game. What do you think? I didn't talk to anyone on the Broncos, but I did talk to other people. And there was an argument made by a lot of people that, look, you weigh the probability of the situation and you go to the numbers and usually what happens here, people that are obsessed with the numbers will make an argument. If they went for it, they'll say they should have kicked. If they made it, then they said that's what the numbers say. Whenever it just doesn't okay. work out, the situation doesn't work out, is when everyone reacts like this. And yeah, look, let's he fell on the sword. I think we could all agree he, he would do it <laughs> yeah. over again. But they made that decision, and they stuck with it. So we're all losing our minds on it. Stop but it. there are others in the league that do this all the time and are a lot smarter no. than me that believe okay. that, look, they, they can see what happened. Bark, go. But let's go to the Geek Squad, then, if we want to be about the analytics. The analytics is they had a 53% chance to win the game or to convert fourth and five. Right. They had a 4% chance to kick a 64-yard field goal. So that's the analytics there. Secondly, I, listen, if you don't know history, it's doomed to repeat itself. Right. And the history and the, the narrative around Russell Wilson is that he alienates himself from his teammates. So I had Chad Brown on last yesterday on my show, and he told me that Russell Wilson has his own office mm. in the building, right? That he also has, like, his own nutrition quarterback coach. That is a bad environment, bad recipe for being able to try and in ingratiate yourself with your teammates. And then you talk about, you know, if you don't know your history. Last year, the, the, uh, the Green Bay Packers came out and got the brakes beat off of them. Do you know that in training camp, the Denver Broncos did not have one live drill? So then when you don't have one live drill and people don't play in preseason, what do you think a running back is going to do with a fumbling history? He's going to fumble. So this goes back on Nathaniel Hackett, the fact that he is ill-prepared and don't know how to be able to lead his team. He's early in this process. It can be, it can be turned around, but these things are disturbing to me. Go for it or kick the field. He still wasted so much he wasted time. The and then, but he then left after, everything on that kick. After the fact, he's called three timeouts with like 10 seconds. Yeah. I was like, yo, that's it. It's Look, like, what do you call the entire you call history of that's professional football, which is like 103 years? There have been like three kicks of that length made in the entire history of the Justin sport. Tucker. The numbers definitely do not support what Nathaniel Hackett did. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.